The future is what you do today, which is a famous quote by Mahatma Gandhi. Respect teachers and my dear friends, a very warm good morning to all. In this Independence Day celebration, we should have proud to be a part of independent nation, which gives us freedom to our lives and our way. But it was not the scenery in 73 years ago when the India was under the leadership of British government. The British ruled India almost 200 years. With a great struggle by the Indians and renewing the freedom fighters, they gained the independence on August 15, 1947. For this time, on this day, our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, raised the Indian flag on Red Four. Since that day, we all are celebrating Independence Day annually. Our organization, government, culture, schools and college everywhere were the Independence Day events and cultural programs. Once the India was known as Soneti Chidiya, which means the full of resources. We had plenty of land and ample amount of minerals and rocks. The, all the factors were made by the British and used those resources for their uh, benefits. And they were control our country by using every facilities like uh, the divine rule and policies. After some time, the few eminent personalities like Mahatma Gandhiji, Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhagat Singh, etc. were prominently emerged as a leader who inspired everyone and the Indian scenario. And how it is crucial to fight back for the right. At last, we had the result, the freedom nation. Being a freedom nation, we had many benefits like freedom of speech and fundamental rights. Without the freedom, without freedom, we are just like slaves. So we have to thank our uh, freedom fighters. Patriotism is the main thing that everyone should have. Our upcoming generation should know the importance of patriotism. How it is the main leading character building for our nation. So I hope to a happy Independence Day and hope for building a beautiful nation together. Thank you. A warm day to one and all. Nowadays, we all are suffering from a virus, COVID-19. The only way to prevent it is stay home, stay safe. So we are doing our works, jobs, education, online, social media. I'm very thankful and pleasure to be here like this. Sorry, I'm not taking a long time for this. I have asked a few minutes for this. Today, August 15th, the Independence Day. And based on this day, have I talked to you about freedom struggle of India? The freedom struggle of India. Let us. First of all, I'm asking you, what do you mean by freedom struggle of India? Yes, is that in ancient time, the people of the world came to come in India. The Persians, the Iranians, the Parsis, the Mughals were immigrated to India also the portuguese the portugal man was da gama landed to india for a trade his trade was like this he sell cheap things to india and returned back costly indian spices the development of their trade was like that and then french came to india established their colonies in india Lastly, the British came to India and ruled it all over India. The rule was like this. They take a cruel attract to us. The cruel rule against us. After the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the British take a political power against us. And their paramountcy was established during the tenure of Lord Dalhousie who became the governor in 1848. He annexed many tribes, the Punjab, the Peshawar, the Patan tribes was annexed by him in Northwest India. And their conquest authorities were established. And the discontent of social local rulers, intellectuals, peasantries, soldiers, who were unemployed armies from various states were annexed by him. This became a widespread. This soon broke out.
out into a revolt which assumed the dimension of 1857 mutiny the 1857 mutiny our partition of india was in 1947 5th august we got freedom on that day last days behind 1947 was a act from indian people those who attract us in cruel rule the highlighting man in that is our father of nation mahatma gandhi and the muslims the sikhs the hindus and other brave sun for shoulder to shoulder for our life for our freedom don't let down that freedom which they give us and what does and give us so this is our right to give to coming generation we want to give them a life they give us a life our descendants so this is our right and by telling this i'm concluding my speech with a wish happy independence day and stay home stay safe thank you all by hearing my speech have a nice day our nation is like a tree just the original trend is a saraja and the branches is sadeshi and palkon words of subhash chandra bose a very warm good morning to one and all respect the teachers and my dear friends here i leah fatima stand in front of you to say a few words on the topic the independent movement of india like every indians we know we got independence in 1947 august 15 but no one knows what is importance of it as the independent citizen of the republic of india i would like to throw some light on the issue that's important to be addressed on the independence of india almost second century the india was ruled by british government the citizens of our country suffered a lot due to their oppressions the british officials treat us as a slaves and we managed to fight back against them we struggled for our independence but work lawlessly selflessly with the guidance of our leaders mahatma gandhi jawaharlal nehru subhash chandra bose bhagat singh chandrasekhar azad some of these leaders chose a path of violence but ultimately their aim was try to british us from the country and on 15th august 1947 the long awaited dream comes true i'm so thankful to my teachers not only teach as the lesson in of indian independence also teach as the patriotism and the love for the nation i have also learned that as a responsible citizen we must we must respect our past instead of shifting blame to the wake of hatches we should instead learn to fight against the old with this i would like to pause my words and would leave you a question are we all are just a serving our nation <coughs> india our dreams should be reaching the height of the honor every citizen in it deserves a prosperous life and we through education help at the nation to spread in it all its glory thank you Long live the revolution Jai Hind